He plays tennis for Great Britain. He's a um, two-time Olympic champion. He's a former world number one. Can you possibly guess who this might be, our special guest today? Hello, everybody. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. It's lovely to see you all. I've been on fire today. I've been uh, tremendous. I'd just like sense of thought today. Again. What sort of things have you been learning today? We've been learning how to um, hover and <laughs> Fantastic. It's, that's very important for your footwork, isn't it? <laughs> have you all missed doing lots of physical exercise and things during lockdown? Yeah. yeah. yeah? What things have you been able to do? Fantastic. So you've managed to keep it up. Well, well done you. Because it's really hard, isn't it? Not only being out there, being with your friends and things like that, but to keep that self-motivation going and things like that. So it's pretty impressive you kept that training going. Well done. And now it's um, Wimbledon week. And what's your favourite thing about Wimbledon? My favourite thing about Wimbledon is Exactly. They show great sportsmanship as well. I think tennis is brilliant for that and particularly Wimbledon. Now, because you're such keen tennis fans, I've got a very important person here that's going to come and join us that would love to meet you guys and they might be able to share some tennis tips as well with you. So I'll give you a few clues and see if you can guess who this special guest might be. So he is a he, and he, <laughs> he plays tennis for Great Britain, and he's a um, two-time Olympic champion. He's a former world number one. Can you possibly guess who this might be, our special guest today? You are right. <laughs> Sir Andy Murray is here to join us today. Hi. Oh. Hi Andy, how are you doing? Good, thanks. How are you? Good. Very well, thank you. We were Can just you... chatting about lockdown and everything. How have you found it? Um, I found the first five or six weeks okay. Um, you know, it was fun being at home with family and obviously normally doing quite a lot of traveling so I got to spend loads of time with my kids and then after probably five or six weeks I started to find it probably a bit harder um, to find things to do really for, for the kids like to stay sort of creative with uh, you know ideas and games for them to kind of enjoy and then we're doing the homeschooling which uh, which is difficult um, as well but it, it it, it was difficult, but it, it, at times really enjoyed it as well. Fantastic. And have you managed to keep up with your training? We've just been chatting about lots of the kids here have been pretty active during lockdown. Yeah, so I, I didn't play tennis for about 10 weeks, which was a long time, obviously, for, for me. Um, but yeah, I managed to do lots of training, uh, which was good. Um, you know, I tried to stay in shape as much as I could. I did a lot of cycling, uh, was going out on my road bike, which I'd never done before, so that was something kind of new that I learned that I that I enjoyed during uh, during lockdown. But um, yeah, I stayed in stayed in reasonable shape. But yeah, quite important I think during these times to stay as active as you can because uh, it's good for the the mind I think as well for the mental health. Yeah, absolutely. But there's lots of budding tennis players here at the Bond Primary School um, as well, so I'm sure. Have you guys got any questions you, that you'd like to ask Andy? Um, why did you pick tennis as a career? Oh, why did I pick tennis as a career? Good question. Uh, it was one of the few things I was good at, really. <laughs> um, I, yeah, I, I played it a lot with my brother when I was very young. So we started playing together when we were four or five years old. We were lucky because our mum uh, was a tennis coach. So she was able to coach us from a young age. And me and my brother were just we were quite good at it and we, we played it a lot. Um, we played lots of sports together. And um, 
yeah, it was just a really fun, fun thing to do. I got to travel to, to lots of places when I was like 11, 12 years old, which I would never have had that opportunity if I hadn't sort of chosen to play tennis, I guess. So that was great. And then once I got to 14, 15, I had to, that was really when I had to decide if I was going to do that for my career. And I loved it. I was doing quite well and I moved over to Spain and um, yeah. The rest is the rest is history, but I did it because I enjoyed it and I had fun doing it. So um, I've been very lucky. Do you remember how old you were when you saw your first? Oh, when I played my first tennis match, I was very young. Um, I would have been about seven when I played my first tennis match. Um, yeah, I didn't really know the rules, um, and I just keep score um, at that age. But me and my brother used to play a lot at our local tennis club, and we would play with sort of the um, the older men and women uh, at the clubs who, who would help us keep score, but we were able to play with them because we were quite good at that age. So yeah, I would have been about seven. So I was quite little, but um, yeah, certainly didn't, didn't remember how to keep the score. How was your lesson today with Dan? Awesome. Yeah? That's cool. You enjoyed it? Okay. <laughs> Fast feet. <laughs> yeah, I think, um, yeah, I mean, that's something that I guess, yeah, I guess during my career, I feel like I've sort of, I've come back from quite a lot of difficult sort of situations, especially recently with injuries and things. Um, yeah, and I just always sort of tried to, even when I was in maybe difficult situations or struggling physically or mentally to, yeah, just always keep going forwards, um, you know, and yeah, I think it's always, yeah, important, like in, in those moments, I've been very fortunate to have, you know, a good family around me and, and friends uh, to talk to and kind of help me through the, the difficult moments. But yeah, I mean, always like you, you're definitely going to have setbacks um everybody does and then difficult moments in your life but you need to try and yeah keep keep moving forwards keep working hard and um yeah i've tried to try to do that during during my career and andy have you got any tips for the for these guys going forward if they want to take up tennis a bit more professionally i mean most important thing is to have fun if you're enjoying doing it um you get more out of them, out, out of your lessons and your practicing. Um, listen to your coach uh, is very important. Um, and yeah, they would be the, the two most important things I think at, at your age is that, yeah, just to don't, if you are like competing or playing any matches, like try really hard in them, but winning and losing isn't the most important thing. It's sort of the, you know, enjoying, um, you know, playing a sport and being active is, is the most important thing and um, yeah if you do go on to choose it as, as your career or do sport as your career obviously the winning and losing changes a bit but whilst you're, you're young it's really important just to be out there and yeah enjoying it and listening and having a good coach like Dan. Have you got some other favourite sports that you, you do enjoy? I know some of you like football don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Who's your favourite football team? Chelsea. <laughs> oh. Big rivalries there, Chelsea and Tottenham. I need to back up my husband, he's an Aston Villa fan. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been missing um, the competitive side um, to to the game and, you know, have you been missing matches and, and things like that and being past Wimbledon, obviously, this week? Yeah, I think, I think missing the big competitions is sort of, yeah, like, because I'm getting old not for a tennis player um you know you never know how many opportunities you're gonna have left to play in like the biggest competitions so yeah missing Wimbledon this week um is obviously a shame and I've missed the traveling like that's one of the things that I've really enjoyed doing over my career is going to see different parts of the world and different cities and stuff so yeah missed that and also yeah missing seeing friends like everyone else you know and family like I've not seen my not seen my mum and dad for a few months um, and stuff, so I'm looking forward to seeing them again. Um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully very soon. So, yeah, there's been some challenges and yeah, missed a few things, but I guess 
yeah, sometimes when you go through difficult moments like this, you sort of learn to maybe appreciate the things that you maybe took for granted sometimes. Um, so yeah, definitely make sure I spend more time with my, my family and friends when I get the opportunity to. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And hopefully that time's relatively near as well. So yeah, yeah. I hope you get to, to meet up with everybody soon. And um, yeah, best of wishes to you and your family as well. Thank you, you too. Okay. Very nice to see everybody. Thank you again for joining us. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Enjoy your holidays. <laughs>